There are proven international standards used to calculate the effects of obtrusive light, CIE-150 and AS-4282. In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to judge compliance. Open the Burger World 2 AGI sample file. Using this file, we can demonstrate AGI-32's new obtrusive light capability. AGI-32 version 2.2 computes all of the required metrics to demonstrate compliance with these internationally recognized standards. To begin, let's move the origin on this project. Use AGI-32's translate origin command. We'll move the origin to the corner of the property. CIE-150 specifies limits for vertical illuminance and luminous intensity in user-determined trouble areas of adjacent properties. This might be at the property line, at the structure, or at some point deemed to be sensitive to obtrusive light. For this demonstration, we will perform the calculations at a distance of 50 feet from the Burger World property line. To assist us, let's draw a line around the property at a distance of 50 feet. We are ready to select the new obtrusive light command from the calculations toolkit. Select vertical illuminance and intensity. and enter a description. Change the point spacing to 5 feet vertically. Don't center the points top to bottom. The grid will go from Z equals 0 to above the tallest luminaire at Z equals 30. We'll change the color of the grid points. and we'll select the option to create the grid from an existing line, the one we just drew. Select the line, right-click. Notice the light meter direction is interactive. You can flip the meter by pressing F5. Bingo! All our calculation grids are created. This includes vertical illuminance, luminous intensity, and offending luminaire number. You'll see. Now create threshold increment lines for adjacent street. First for the westbound lane, change the label to westbound. We'll change the point color. And finally we'll set the adaptation luminance for no street lighting in this area. This is the strictest criteria. Create the line in the center of the westbound lane. Our observer is now looking to the west. Notice the light meter direction. Another line for the eastbound lane again in the center of the eastbound lane. Notice the light meter direction. And we're finished. CIE-150 states all calculations are done with direct light. Calculate using the direct method. Calculations are complete. Vertical illuminance is shown.
Let's highlight values to see our problem areas. First we'll start with illuminance. We know the criteria limits from CIE 150. This is the compliance report, which we'll use see soon. The max vertical illuminance specified in CIE 150 is 0.19 foot candles. We'll see all those points showing up in orange as a background of orange. Now we'll set criteria for threshold increment. The max threshold increment is 15%. We'll set our criteria from 15% upward. And finally, let's set criteria for luminous intensity. The max luminous intensity per CIE 150 is 1000 candelas. We have a number of vertical illuminance points over the criteria. Lots of calculations. Okay, fine. We need an easy way to judge and report compliance. The Obtrusive Light Compliance Report. Here are all of our specifiable limits per CIE 150 and AS4282. Post curfew, the lighting zone is suburban. Vertical illuminance limit, 0.19 foot candles. Intensity limit, 1000 candela. TI limit, 15%. Run the test. Vertical illuminance pass or fail with failing points listed. We have failing points in each grid. Luminous intensity pass or fail with failing values listed. And threshold increment. Both lines of TI passed. Let's investigate the luminous intensity issue. Open Project Manager. Select the calculation points. Show the intensity grids and turn off the vertical illuminance grids. We have three sides, so there are three grids. The maximum luminous intensity in candela from any single luminaire is displayed. Readings greater than 1000, limit per CIE 150 criteria, are shown in black. No problem with this side. We can determine the offending luminaire for each point reading. To turn on luminaire numbers, we go to the Labels command and make sure the luminaire number appears for each luminaire. Control L keystroke toggles between intensity and luminaire number. This makes it easy to see the offending luminaire. Luminaire 54 is the source of displayed intensity. Panning around, we can see the offensive luminaire for each problem point. Luminaire 47 is in violation. There's Luminaire 47. Control L to switch back to intensity. Control L again switches back to Luminaire number. Now you know what to fix. Let's look at the Obtrusive Light Compliance Report one more time. You can make changes and run the report as often as you like. We have examined the Obtrusive Light in accordance with CIE 150 Post Curfew Zone E3 Suburban Criteria. What if you prefer to set your own limits to vertical illuminance, luminous intensity, and TI? Absolutely. We have designed the system to allow you to set custom limits. 
You can select Custom from the pull-down Standards menu. Then you can change any criteria you like and rerun the report. Vertical illuminance, luminous intensity, or threshold increment. You can then write your own specification for obtrusive light and use AGI 32 to prove compliance. CIE 150 and AS 4282, internationally recognized and proven methods for control of obtrusive light. Brought to you by AGI 32.